All right, so y'all get some work done today, get some mowing done, but it's it's shit's wetter out here than your damn old lady after Magic Mike. So anyway, gotta let it dry out a little bit, get on them zero turns on them hills. Uh, it ain't good. We had to pull a couple of them up out the woods before we done got stuck. But anyway, we got the knife from here. Now this, this is my second set of aftermarket stringers. Um, I had the vapor trails on here. When I first put them on, they stretched. Um, took it back, figured it was breaking, took it back, we retwisted them, got the length back. And it shot good for a good while, but the other day I started noticing that it feels a little long again. So, uh, took him, took, took that thing, put it back on the draw board, and, uh, it's drawing a quarter inch long. And I could twist it back up, get it out, but I feel like it's still stretching. It ain't gonna settle in, you know, all the way it's gonna keep stretching. So, what I got here, um, set of strings I had I just I went ahead and ordered two sets when I ordered mine just cause um in case I didn't like a set you know that simple um but uh anyway the, these are winner's choice the DCYX um got the cables I don't know if you can see they're in OD green dark green the cables and the strings in buckskin. Um, nothing real crazy, just to give it a little bit different look. Uh, I like it pretty good. But uh, anyway, um, put them on. Um, the bow's in perfect time. Uh, axle to axle's good. Brace height's good. Um, we're at, hell, I don't know, 74.6 pounds or something, so, it's really flinging them, we got the draw length right, 28 and a half, shot it a little bit, um, hopefully that that's all I need to shoot it, they'll settle in, but we'll see, um, like I said, I could have put some more twists in other strings, but I just, as you know, bow season getting so close. Didn't want to deal with any stretch, any, any string creep, whatever. Um, so I just went ahead and threw these on and going to get them going. Seems to be shooting good. Um, but they didn't have any paper up. Um, so I hadn't paper tuned it or nothing yet. I just got the did the yoke tuning on it to where it looks really good. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot some broadheads. Um, and if they're shooting good, shooting the same, I won't even need to paper tune it. Cause you know, that's, 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 I think that's the main thing is paper tuning. Um, is making sure that's coming out good straight so you um, broadheads will fly good. I think paper tuning is important. If you're going to shoot a fixed blade, if you're going to shoot a mechanical, you can get by with a lot more, but I, I still like the paper tune. That's still my favorite method. A lot of people have got all these different walk back tunings and all. And I'm not saying that's good or bad. I'm just saying if I get if I can get a good bullet hole out of my bow, Usually, if I got a good, if my arrow's stiff enough, and I'm shooting a quality broadhead, they're going to hit the same place. So, with that said, um, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot a couple broadheads with it. Um, got a couple here, just my regular field points, and I got a couple. I had some old wraps, um, just fletched them up a little different to broad heads, and so I can tell what's what. Um, now, if you 
you going to do this? You know, I'm just shooting here like 25 yards, just a good hunting distance, you know, to check it out. Um, but if you're going to do this, I'd probably do it different than I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just shoot the field points, see where they're hitting, and shoot the broadheads right with them in a group. You might tear up some arrows, um, fletchings or air bust arrows. If they're all grouping good, you know, your broad heads and all. Um, so I'm saying if you if you shoot your broad heads first, then your field points. Um or just shoot different spots with them, you might save yourself some arrows, but uh, I'm gonna put a group in there with them and I just I just wanna see how it groups. So uh, if we mess them up we'll we'll get some more, fletch them up, keep moving. See what she does and this thing i don't know if it's the the winner's choice i mean they're bcyx strings different material and it's got just just a little more poundage than it had not much difference but uh man it seems like it's really shooting hard I mean, I don't know if you can hear that. That's just did a black target right here. Um, I mean, that's thumping. Can't wait to see what this thing will do on a deer, but um, like I said, I don't know. I didn't chrono it with the vapor trail strings or these, so I don't really know the difference. But I can tell it, it is flying really fast off these. Oh. Now granted, I am using 420-something grain arrow, which is what I like to be at for hunting. So that's going to slow me down a little bit. But trust me, man, it's moving fast. I mean, it's, it's kicking. So. Now we're going to let a slick trick fly. I'd say that's pretty good. You know, this is what I've decided to go with. Um, we're all had a choice this year. Slick Trick Magnum 100. Uh, they just feel like great broadheads to me. They fly great. You got four blades. Do some damage. Super sharp. And, um... You know, I like replaceable blades. Um, had some NAP Hell Razors. I really liked them, but I never felt like I could get them as sharp as they came. Um, I mean, you can shoot a deer with a broad head about four times and kill it. I just want mine to be razor sharp. That's just something I, I, I like. So, but um, anyway, that's what I chose to go with this year. I think they're hard to beat. See what we got here. Mm. Let's 
see. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, you should be able to. Just aiming at this little dot. I'm off a little bit, but that's just my sight, I guess. I mean, that's only an inch dot, and I'm off maybe an inch. On um, this one right here, even felt like it was a bad shot. I mean, it's still very close. So, then you see these field point broadheads here. And you see that they're just tight as could be. Um, so, anyway, I think it's, it's tuned up good. It's going to work real good. And uh, I'll holler at y'all next time.